Well, we have our navigation bar. Now we need to push it down from the top of the page and get these elements to sit next to each other. We could do that with either float or inline block. I think inline block will be simpler in this. So let's go back to our page. We need to push down that navigation bar. I measured it in the PDF that it's about 35 pixels down. So that's good. And then we need to float the elements inside of that navigation. I'm using float. Uh, perhaps in a slightly confusing way here because I'm not actually going to use float. You certainly could use float on this. Floated elements would you know, sit to the left of each other, but for simplicity, let's use inline block. It's supported by all modern browsers. It will, gives you kind of the best of both worlds. The best things of inline that elements can sit next to each other, the best of block that we can you know, give this margin and padding and width and height and do everything great with it. I use it all the time. It's an inline block, greatest thing ever. So we're going to say display inline dash block and then all these things are going to sit next to each other. We're targeting the list items themselves inside of the navigation. They're going to sit next to each other. So we need some font. I could change the font of this, but really everything in my document is the same font. I made everything Helvetica. So let's just change the font for the entire body of the whole page. Everything inside of it is going to inherit this property of font family Helvetica. So I'm not going to do a full font stack with, you know, if you don't have Helvetica, then use Arial. You certainly could, you know, only doing this on my computer. I have Helvetica, so I'm going to go with that. But you can specify your font stack or use any at font face font. Any modern browser that's going to support all the uh, responsive web design things we're doing are certainly going to support at font face. So everything in our whole page is going to be Helvetica. All of the divs inside of it will inherit that property. So my navigation just became Helvetica. And then we need some margin on it. We'll start with, with pixels for this, and then we can change it to percents when we talk about how we're going to make text scale, because it's different making text scale than making div scale. So we'll go with pixels on this at first. So we'll say there's 10 pixels of space on the top and the bottom of each of these divs, and there's going to be about 20 pixels of space on the right and the left. And we can tweak that number go. And then we're going to say font size is 19 pixels because that's what I did in my mock-up. So the fonts are going to be 19 pixels. And if you remember from the mock-up, the type is capitalized, and I promise I'd tell you how to do that in CSS. So that is text, transform, and uppercase. So we have all of our elements sitting next to each other with block level properties. We have some margin on the top and some margin on the right and left. We're scaling our font up, and our font is Helvetica, and it is uppercase. So if we take a look at this page, we have a bit of a nav bar. Now we need to tweak this. We'll tweak our percentages. We'll tweak the size. It is sitting down, but we need to make everything line up. That's what we'll do in the next video.